Our weather forecast is uh, definitely on the rise here over the next couple of days. Some big time heat uh, rolling in as we move through this weekend. Let's take it into that microclimate forecast and we'll get you a look out here uh, at something else we're tracking. And of course, we're going to get to the heat and that is a 5.5 earthquake. So sizable here uh, just north of the Bay Area. So I want to get you a closer view of this and this continues to be active right now. Uh, we have seen since 419 today at least five aftershocks ranging a 2.5 to a 3.0. This is all happening at Lake Almanor, and you can see all of these aftershocks pretty much in the same vicinity here as the uh, main earthquake a 5.5. This is all part of the Almanor fault zone, uh, which coincidentally is uh, tied here to the Mount Lawson volcano. Now, this was not big enough uh, to cause any kind of eruption. The last eruption was back in the early 1900s, uh, but this is noteworthy and one we're going to be watching here as we roll through tonight. All right, back here across the Bay Area, always a good reminder for us when we see any kind of sizable earthquake. Uh, those simple tips here. Don't run out of a building when we get that earthquake falling debris, a top hazard. Uh, hallways, not always the safest. Uh, you want to make sure to get under some sort of a desk or a table and drop cover and hold on. Again, more details on this as we continue through tonight. Uh, now, when it comes to our weather, we're going to see some huge changes. This area, high pressure right here. Building in tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday uh, for some of the warmest stretch of weather we have seen all year long. So as we roll through tomorrow morning, temperatures here starting off in the 50s. So kind of a mild start. We've been so cold lately uh, that 54 is going to feel real good to you there up towards the North Bay, San Francisco 52 and the East Bay 53. Daytime highs as we move through tomorrow, they are going to be warming up a solid 5 to 10 degrees. So down here in the South Bay, that's going to put us at 77 in San Jose. Down there to Morgan Hill and Gilroy will be in the low 80s for the East Bay 70 in Oakland and check it out 80 in Walnut Creek 83 Antioch 79 in Pleasanton. Not quite widespread 80s here along the peninsula, but that's going to be a nice day for you in Palo Alto at 75 San Francisco 68 in downtown and the North Bay here 85 in Clear Lake 79 in Sonoma. So on the seven day forecast, we get up to 75 here on Saturday in San Francisco Sunday. Just a slight chance of thunderstorms again. I wouldn't cancel plans over it. The bulk of that looks to be over the Sierra and then we're going to stay with dry weather here as we roll through next week. Look at these inland valley temperatures 82 tomorrow. 90 Saturday, and then we're going to hold on to 80s Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week. This is the weather we've been waiting on. You know, with all the cool weather lately, you just you have to remind yourself that we are in May. Yeah, like, we're almost halfway through the year, and we've been stuck with so much cool weather. I can't wait for the warm stuff. Yeah. Thanks, Jeff. Me too.